Welcome back! Welcome to my channel! Uh, my name is Candace. This is floss tube number 40, and today is February 17th. All right, like, where did February go, for real? Right? Uh, so this is a channel about stitching. We have cross-stitching, um, usually some knitting, maybe some quilting. I actually do have all three today. So we will start out with the cross stitch stuff. And then if you don't want to see the rest of it, then you can move on to your next video. Uh, let's see. We got a boatload of snow. More than a boatload. An S-ton of snow. Uh, I live in northwest Indiana, just a few miles from Lake Michigan. We got some hella snow. Uh, it has basically snowed every single day since I saw you last week. Um, I think it was sunny the day that I was here last week, though, last Wednesday. Um, but we've gotten dumped on. We have so much snow in our yard. We are having to shovel areas for the puppy because he would be completely buried. I mean, we have over two feet of snow in our yard. And then you consider the plowing of the cul-de-sac. We have, like, Snow Mountain out in front of the neighbor's house. He uh, has worked construction most of his life, and he does just help out his friends in the construction industry now. So yesterday he came with this gigantic monster tractor thing that had like six plows on the front. So it had two really big ones on each side, and then it had four what looked like regular truck plows in the middle. I think it's what they use when they do big parking lots at like grocery stores and stuff like that. Cause that sucker, I mean, he was able to, he pulled all the snow out of his driveway. We just use a snowblower. Our driveway is about two and a half car lengths long. And it like, it's one car width to get in and then it kind of goes out into two. So we just use the snowblower in ours and then my husband would go and snow blow his driveway. Well, yesterday he came with that big thing and pulled whatever snow was in his driveway out and then plowed it all up in front of his house. So this pile was probably five or six feet on Saturday. And then Monday we got another, I want to say it was six inches while I was at work. I was at work for six hours and then we got another four ish overnight. Uh, that pile is probably a good 10 or 11 feet tall now. And that's just what he's pulled out of his driveway and a little bit from the cul-de-sac. The rest of the snow from the cul-de-sac is over on the other side. So we have a lot of snow. Um, my husband and I are probably going to dig around the house. We had some issues a couple years ago where we had about two feet of snow and we got a ton of rain that it had nowhere to go. So it found its way into our house and we've never had a leak since, but we have a feeling if we get a warm front come through and we get any rain or the snow melts quickly, we might have that problem again. We don't want to do that. So we're going to dig out around the one side of our house and just make sure that we've cleared the snow from that area and then maybe we'll be okay. Fingers crossed. So that's what's happening over here. My kids had a snow day yesterday because the roads were crap. It took me uh, forever to get home from work on Monday night. So I just took yesterday off because they called school at, at probably 5.30 or 6 o'clock the night before. So we knew well in advance. And I'm off today because we have furniture being delivered for our living room. But the time frame they gave us was 9 a.m. to 9 p.m super helpful. So, oh, that reminds me. I still have a note on the door. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I had put a note on the door to let them know if they showed up because we haven't gotten a phone call or anything about, hey, we'll be here around this time. I thought if they just show up when I'm taking the kids to school, they're going to leave again and we're not going to get our furniture today. So, um, I just took the note off the door. And then if they still haven't come by the time I need to get my kids from school, 
I'll put a note back up and be like, hey, I'll be back in 20 minutes. So I took today off to wait for furniture. So I'm doing my video early, which is nice. And that means I should have quite a bit of stitching time. So let's get into it. I have a finish, you guys. I have a finish! So this is, um, oh, and I totally, if you watched last week's video, I failed miserably on pictures. I don't know what, I should not ever edit my Fosti videos while my kids are around because they distracted me and I missed a couple of pictures last week. But anyway, you don't need to see the finished product of this one because I have it right here. This was my snow day project. This is by Barbara Anna. It is called Let It Snow. And we've gotten so much snow that I finished it. There it is. I'm so excited. I love it. Do I wish my fabric was a smidge darker? Yes. But I think once it's framed, if I can find the right frame, hopefully it'll make that white stand out better. Um, and the yellow is a little bit, in person, it looks amazing. But when I show it on video or take a picture, you can't really see the yellow and the white. I still love it though. I mean, I'm just, I used all DMC for this and I did change the date to say 2021. This is the first time I've ever charted anything um, to change it. And I've designed like quilt blocks and stuff before, so it's not like changing the date was hard. Um, especially when you have two twos in there, because it makes the spacing really easy. So there it is. It's all done. I think I do want to find a frame for this. Something long and skinny. I'll probably have to do some looking. I don't really want to pay for custom framing for this. Uh, but, um, I'll see what I can find. Who knows? I'll be able to figure something out. But I would like to actually fully finish this one soon. Get it hung up. I mean, you know, because we're going to have snow for the next little while. So I had to finish. Hooray! <sighs> I'm so glad. So, what I'm going to do, I didn't bring it down here, but I am going to use one of my whips from January whip go and use that as my snow day project. So Glendon Place is the one I want to have done by my birthday. This is a picture of what um, Glendon Place looks like, but I want to get that done by November for my birthday because I started it on my birthday last year. So I think I'm going to turn that into my new snow day project. So every day that it snows, I'll work on it, be it a little or a lot. I'll at least pick it up and work on it on snow days. Uh, I may actually keep that going into spring and do, have like a rainy day project where I pick one that maybe didn't get finished in January, February, March, April, and use that as like a rainy day project. And then I'm touching it again instead of being like, oh, I didn't finish it in January. I guess it waits till next year. So let's talk, um, February. February. We had a Whipco weekend this last weekend. So Whipco is the brainchild of Jessie Marie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff. You can find her on Instagram. You can find her on Facebook. The Facebook group is Whipco 2021. It's W-I-P-G-O, like bingo, but Whipco. And um, every month she calls two numbers and then you focus on those two projects for that month. Whatever your goal is. My goals are, I made yearly goals not monthly goals, but we had a whip go weekend. So I made goals for both of my whips for that I wanted to get done by the weekend. So for this one, this is uh, Celebrate Christmas by Madame Chantilly. And here's where it was last Wednesday. And here it is now. So my goal for the whip go weekend was to get all the flowers and the leaves done. And I did it. And these are coming out of a cup. There's a cup right here, like a mug. So they're all coming out of the cup. So that will probably be the next thing on my list. Because my goal for Whip Go for the year is to get the top tray done. 
So the tray right here and up. That's my goal for, you know, for this one for this year. Now, if I get more done on it, awesome. I just knocked my needle minder off. Whoopsie doodles. This is the 24 hours of cross stitch one. And it's from uh, Allison Rosen. On uh, Etsy, she is It's Charm School. And on Instagram, she's Allison Rosen is a crafty girl, I think. But yeah, so this fabric is a... <laughs> I forgot. Hold on. I wrote it down here, I think, the other day. <sighs> 32 count vintage stormy night. It's super pretty. But I got all these done and I did, I did a color conversion. So I talked about it last week. Um, I'm using hand dyed flosses for the, the red and it's the same red throughout the entire chart. So I'm using uh, classic color works Cupid. And then the leaves, there's two different greens in this entire chart, and I changed those. Uh, mistletoe and Jolly Holly. That was it. Those were the two. Um, classic color works. Let me check the dark green, because I can't remember if that was classic color works or... Yep, it was. So, um, I did go through that last week, though. So I want to get some more work done on this this month. We are halfway through the month now, so it's over halfway through the month. So I definitely need to get cracking. And then my other whip go is Linen and Threads Mystery Sampler. This is the mock-up of what it looks like. And you can find this and the newest 2021 Mystery Sampler on the Linen and Threads website. Um, I'm not doing this year's. I decided to take a rest on the mystery um, stitch alongs because I've been kind of stinking a little bit about them. So I, my goal for the Whip Go weekend was to get one snowflake done in December. At first I was going to be like, let's get the whole December motif done. But I did a lot of sewing on Saturday and I thought that's not going to... It's not going to work. So I said one snowflake for December. And my goal for Whip Go is to finish this by the end of the year. So here's where it is. Back up a little bit. And what I did is December is up here. And I did this snowflake right here. So yeah, it wasn't a big goal. But I still got it out and touched it. So December motif this is one of them, and then the other one is a gigantic snowflake right here with four of these. So, so yeah, I got one snowflake now. But I still have, I still have some time to try and at least get December done for this month. And then I'll just have November left at the bottom. Um, the only other smaller thing I worked on, you guys are going to laugh because I showed this last week. This is a waffle lot from Hands on Design. And it was an exclusive to the Black Needle Society box. I'm sure Kathy will probably release it at some point. Um, but I got some more of the border done. <laughs> I don't even need to show where it was last week because it was like, I had like, this done. So I did this. Just trucking along on it. And that's just on a 28 count um, white Monaco. I have it in my my bag that we got in that box. Um, oh, the linen and threads is on a 28 count lamb's wool Joblin. So the other two whips I had were my full coverage pieces that I've been focusing on for this month. So the first, this is mini citrine. And here's where I was last week. The picture is not that great, but um, here's where I am now. So I've been doing a lot of work on this right here. 
and right here. Um, I have been working on the darker colors and I've been sticking with the close to 50 ish stitches a day. Yesterday I had 99. I did two lengths of floss yesterday, so I had 99, but I'm still, I did a lot of this in here and I'm going to continue to go down with that color and then come back up. And I know there's a bunch of it down here, right at the very bottom too. Uh, because if I could finish that color, great. And then I'll check and see if that color is in one of my other full coverage pieces. And if it's not, I'll put that color back in my master set. So the other one I worked on whoops, is, I want to see, hold on, let me check and see how many stitches I got. Because I can't remember if I worked on this twice or once. It is Magic Study. So it's my focus for full coverage fanatics. And my goal for that is 21,000 stitches in 2021. And then I'm also using it in Stitchopoly in Semi-Sane Stitchers. I made a goof. Okay, yeah, so I've worked on it twice. Um, I used it in Stitchopoly and I had put it down and I had landed on one of the properties that was 60 stitches. So I'm stitching away, I completely forgot. I got um, 893 stitches in and I completely forgot about posting it and rolling for the next spot. <laughs> Such a dork. So anyway, I did hit a thousand stitches on this because if you'll recall, I had started, ripped out 456 stitches, restarted. Um, so now I'm just over a thousand stitches. And I did this right here. Still the same color. I'm still rolling with color 32. I'm really digging it. So um, I'm hoping to get some work in on this today. But I really, 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 really like this one. I'm going to try not to knock anything else over. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I need to post that in Stitchopoly and then keep going. And I said I was going to check on that the word, and I'm so sorry, I will do that as soon as this video is done. I'll do that as soon as, because I want you guys to be able to have fun too. And there's fun new challenges every month. So I'll do some digging as soon as this is done before I even edit. I will do some digging and then um, I will put something right here if that's true. If it's true that there's a word you can use to get in for the month. And then obviously you'll be, they're not going to kick you out after a month. Um, so that is it for stitching whips. Now I have just really quickly, I'll just do the knitting and the quilting whips because it's not that much. Um, I got a few more rows in on my husband's hat. This is the bank head hat. And I'm doing, his is a size large. I think he has, um, it was the 22 inch um, head circumference one. So this one's his, I just have about an inch to go until I start decreasing. So the goal, and this is knit picks, uh, be on the wall. My ball band decided it wanted to, um, slide off. There we go. So it's be on the wall from knit picks. Last week I was horrible. I didn't tell you what kind of yarn it was. I was just like, this is it. Here you go. So I was working on that this morning while I was waiting to take the kids to school because delay. And then my other whip is my sweater. This bag, I haven't mentioned this one in a while. Um, here, let me unhook so you can see what it looks like. This bag is well loved and it is canvas. Um, I don't know if the inside is canvas or duck, but it's it's an amazing bag. Uh, the seller is on Etsy. She's also on Instagram. Her name is Tanai Casey. Um, I'll put her name right here because it's, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I know her last name is correct. It's Casey, but, um, her first name, I'm not super positive. I love her bags. I have a couple of her bags. I have some of her masks that she's made and they just hold up so well, so well. This is an awesome sweater bag because there's lots of room. There's also a pocket inside that has 
um, what is it, grommets in it. I say that and it sounds like a Muppet. Um, so there's a pocket in it so I can, you know, store stuff in there. And so this is Hohi Locatelli's basic raglan sweater. And she just did a pattern update with upgraded sizes. So her original pattern, I believe, went up to 4X. She now has 5 and 6X sizing in this sweater. Uh, you can for sure find this sweater on uh, Madeline Tosh's website. I don't know if it's for sale on Ravelry because it was a Madeline Tosh um, partnership and they have the rights to this pattern, I think. So, um, but I got the update email yesterday that they had more sizes included. Uh, I love it when designers are inclusive like that because none of us are the same at all. So here's how much yarn I have left because I've been cranking out these sleeves. All right. So here's my sweater. I have done a couple of decreases down this sleeve and then I have one more decrease left on this sleeve and then I just have to knit it to the length I need. And I know there's some pooling, but I got, and the thing is it shows up so much more on video than it does in person, but I got so tired of alternating skeins. Um, yeah, on there, it look, you can see it. You can see the pooling right here. In person, you can't. It all basically blends in together. Plus, when I'm wearing it, who's really going to look at my forearm and go, oh my gosh, you have pooling on your sleeve. It'd be more obvious if it was, like, on my chest. You know what I mean? So, um, I am hoping to have these sleeves done by next week. <sighs> It says to knit them to 17 inches, but I need to measure my, um, my, is it like an arm inseam? I don't even know. I need to measure though and see if I, I don't think I'm actually 17 inches. I think it would probably not look good if I had sleeves that were two inches too long. So, um, I gotta, I gotta measure myself after I get that one last decrease done. Then I'll have, um, I'll just have to knit until they're, a good length for me and I'll keep track of that so the second sleeve is the same as the first um, but yeah so those are my knitting whips and then I finally got caught up on the socialites quilt along so this is a uh, fat quarter shop is doing this it's a free quilt along uh, if you go to the Jolly Jabber blog um, you can get to the blog through fat quarters fat quarter shops website too but um, they have all the blocks up through block 19 have been released so that we have 15 left to go because there's no 17 left to go. There's 36 blocks. Um, two of the blocks I know for sure I'm not doing. Um, one is a sewing machine and one is a like the outline of a flower, like a tulip. Um, I want to stick with the basic quilt block look for this one. So I may repeat, I may find a different block in one of my books to do. Um, but I'll worry about that when I come to those. So I was behind. I had only done 11 of the blocks. So I finished up 12 through 19. So first up, this is block 12. And I'm using a, and yes, that's a lot of pieces and a lot of seams. But uh, I'm using a collection that I've had since 2014, maybe 2015. Um, it's called A Beautiful Thing by Zoe Pern. And I believe she's Australian. Uh, but it's Riley Blake is the um, distributor. So there's block 12. Block 13. And I'm telling you what, I don't know if any of you are not quilters and you're watching... Um, flying geese are these things right here that like rectangle that's called a flying geese I'm getting much better at them because a lot of these blocks have had flying geese <laughs> a lot of them 
So this is 14. This one was super easy. And then 15 was also really easy. 16 had more flying geese. <laughs> 17 didn't have flying geese, but whew, man, it was easy, so I used directional fabric. 18, I was scared of. Scared. But I did it, and it looks so good, and I'm so proud of myself. And number 19, this one was hard. Only because... It was intimidating with all of the different seams and pieces. So I used just a really like small print fabric. And honestly, some of these blocks, they're supposed to measure nine and a half by nine and a half. Some do, some are like nine and a quarter by nine and a quarter. It's fine. It'll all work out in the end. So I have 19 of the 36 blocks done. They go in with the rest, and I'm keeping them in a, um, this, these are like for paper crafts. It's a 12, no, 15 by 14 box, but it's supposed to be for, um, like scrapbooking paper and stuff like that, and I'm putting my quilt blocks in it. Keeps them dust free, cats from laying on them, all that good stuff. So that's it for whips. As far as things that I got in the mail, I have three. One, just cross stitch magazine. This is the April issue. Uh, does it just say, yeah, it just says April, but really it's like um, March and April. Here's the thing. If anybody wants this, uh, I would like to do a giveaway for it. So I hit 800 subscribers and I'm not one who's super concerned with subscriber count, but I have gotten um, quite a few in the last couple of weeks, thanks to some amazing ladies who've given me shout outs. So I figure why not do a giveaway? Here's the thing though. You got to be 18. You can't say giveaway. Please be a subscriber and please only ask for this if you really want it. Um, there is honestly nothing in here that I will stitch. There's nothing that draws me. So I'll give you a, a look at some of the projects that are in here. <clears throat> I did think this was really cute, but I know I won't stitch it. I've just never found anything in the Eastery spring issues that I wanted to stitch. Wait, is that one in there again? Hold on. Did they really have this one in here again, or did they mess up? It was the gnomes from last month. No, they messed up. This is what it should be. That's what it should be. It's a, a birth sampler, but they accidentally put the picture for Autumn Lane Stitchery's gnomes, the lovely gnomes. This was in January, February. Whoopsies. So here are the projects. If you want this, how about we use the word April? We use the word April. Um, and then I will get it sent out to you. I really, with the weather and the postal system, I'm gonna have to limit this one to US only just because it, you will end up, if you are out of the country, you will end up getting this sometime in the fall, probably. So I would rather people be able to get it and stitch it right away. Um, so if you want this, just say April. And then I will draw next Wednesday before I do my video. Um, but yeah, there just wasn't really anything in it. So I figure I might as well give it to someone who wants to stitch something in it, right? So the other two things I got is the Floss Fix from Fat Quarter Shop. Here are the colors. Pinks, pinks, pinks. So we have House Wine, 
shrimp cocktail. Nothing like making me hungry, right? Pink champagne. Ripe melon. I really like this color. Cherry berry. And strawberry parfait. So, I mean, if you needed pinks in your stash, there you go. We got some pinks. Um, it looks really good with my... <laughs> and then I did get Color and Cotton's January 2021 Club. These three are Old Lace, Nickel, and this middle one is a limited edition. So there's those ones. I really like the colors in these. Um, the limited edition does not have a color name. It just says limited edition on it. So I like it. I like it a lot. I don't have anything like that. That was, that's it. That's all I got for ac acquisitions. <laughs> acquisitions. Um, sorry, let me trash can right here. I'm packaging away now because I'll organize it when I get done. Uh, that's really all I have. As far as plans go, uh, Glendon Place will be my snow day project. Uh, I want to get some work done on Magic Study. I want to get some work done on Linen and Threads and Celebrate Christmas. Um, I'm caught up on these blocks, but I would like to make some more bags and get rid of some of my, like, this one right here. So it's just holding the floss for celebrate Christmas, but it's a really weird size and it does like I can't fit Q snap in it or anything like that. So I thought maybe I would plus it's It's wicked bad It's bad. This was one of the first ones I made and it's just the um, Learning to sew with vinyl. There's a little bit of a learning curve there. So yeah, it's just this bags just kind of rough It's kind of rough and instead of doing like a regular binding, I just fold it over from the back and did like a double fold and then use that for binding. So, I mean, it's, it's not wretched, but it's, I don't know, at least it was leftover fabrics. So I'd like to get some more bags made. I have some fabrics laid out over there to cut. Um, I have everything I need. It's just a matter of time. That's all. Just time. So I guess that's it for this week. It's a shorter one. Yay. Now you can move on to the next floss tube. Um, cause that's all I've got. So I'm going to go look that up for semi sane and get some stitching done while I'm waiting for new living room furniture, which makes me excited cause I'll have a new stitching spot. Yay. So that's it. I will talk to you guys next week. If you are in the South and you don't have power and you still somehow manage to watch this, thank you. I hope you get power back soon. Um, I've got some friends in Texas that are, they've had no power for the last couple of days. Um, they're not used to the snow like we're used to the snow. So, uh, I love it. It's gorgeous outside. We just have a lot of it. So, I'll talk to you guys next week. Have a great week and a great weekend. I'll see you next time.